love her, hate her, have no opinion on her, it is impossible to deny that Taylor Swift is having some impact on the economy. Whether that's positive or negative depends on your intelligence in the economic arena. We're going to get into the economic aspect of Taylor Swift here in a second, but I want to start with this tweet because this really stood out to me. This is from Max Mayer at Mool Foxy writes, quote, I'm at the Taylor Swift Eras Tour in Santa Clara. I have never been more optimistic about the future of capitalism or America. Communism and ugliness are going to lose. This is the biggest event in a generation, and it's a complete cultural nightmare for the trans slash BLM cult. Almost 100% of the women are trying to look as beautiful as possible. And it's a very specific type of traditional middle American white girl beauty. Denim, sparkles all over the body, short skirts and short skirts, he says again there, I think it means short shorts, cowgirl boots, bikinis, spray tans, makeup. Many people have beautiful, elaborate outfits. I'm gay, but the women folk here are undeniably hot. This is 40,000 or more, I don't know, people worshipping the beauty and excellence of one woman who is going to be a liquid billionaire by the end of this tour. And it's all about the women here. The men, dads and gays basically, are subordinate to the female beauty. Lots of mother-daughter and father-daughter pairs. T-Swift is great for the family. Taylor has basically monopolized her column. Nobody is even trying to compete. They have entire semi-trucks full of merchandise here. Everyone paid hundreds or even thousands for a ticket. It's a powerful affirmation that talent matters. Beauty matters. Excellence matters. And you can be a global sensation. The woke stuff has to be shoved down the throat of the population for even moderate adoption. Taylor could fill a stadium in any city in the Western world and people will pay a fortune. I have great hope for the future. End quote. Now, if you're wondering what in the world Taylor Swift has to do with Bitcoin, it's pretty simple if you ask me. Excellence is truth. Beauty is truth. And Bitcoin is truth. It just is. There's no shoving it down somebody's throat. You either understand it, you recognize it when you see it, or you go crying and screaming and saying, no, 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 I don't want to deal with that, which is what some people do when faced with the truth. And, well, I guess you live in a free country, so you can do that. There's a quote that goes something like this. A lie can spread so fast, it'll be halfway around the world before the truth even has time to put its shoes on. And you might hear that as, well, I guess I should lie. It moves so quick. I want to be like the Flash and zip, zang, zoom, zoom, room around the world and be quick. But the way that I see that is that Bitcoin doesn't care to zim, zam, zoom around. It's in its lane. Chill. Moisturized. Relaxed. Just doing its thing. Hanging out until people recognize, yeah, I've been here all along. Why would people pay hundreds or thousands of dollars to go and see Taylor Swift? Is it because she's shoved down their throats because the, the media is saying this is the best thing in the world and you have to go and see her? And if you don't do it, you'll be fired because you're anti-Taylor Swift? No, she's delivering something that a lot of people want to be a part of. Over here on CBS News, the headline is, the Federal Reserve says Taylor Swift era's tour boosted the economy. One market research firm estimates she could add $5 billion. The Federal Reserve Bank of Philadelphia announced this month that Taylor Swift tour helped boost travel and tourism in the region, a claim also made by several other U.S. cities regarding the musician's wildly popular concerts. Market research firm Question Pro estimated last month that her tour could help add $5 billion to the worldwide economy. Imagine a world in which Taylor Swift gets orange-pilled. Do you think it's going to be her that's going and figuring all that out? Do you think she manages her money right now? Or do you think she has people for that? You need people as well. The Bitcoin way is your IT team in the Bitcoin space. They will help you with anything and everything that you need to handle. And they're not going to push you in any one direction. They are going to find the fit that is perfect for you. They're not going to touch anything that has crypto on it. They are Bitcoin and Bitcoin only. This is a tweet from Choose Chicago at Choose Chicago. Chicago set its new all-time record for total hotel rooms occupied thanks to three nights of Taylor Swift, the ASCO annual meeting, the James Beard Awards, and more. This isn't just post-pandemic. We had more rooms filled than ever 
in Chicago's history. The thing that a lot of people don't understand about inflation is that true inflation, the purchasing power of your dollar going down, sticks around. It doesn't get undone. When we talk about, oh, it was 8%, it was this percent, when the Fed says, oh, we're back on target, it's still going up. It's still increasing. It's just not increasing as drastically. Oh, we're we were screaming along at 8%. Things were getting way more expensive really fast. Oh, you week over week, month over month, eggs just kept on going up and going up. But their target is still 2%. That isn't what's happening with Taylor Swift. If she comes to town and the prices of hotel rooms go from $50 to $100, when she leaves, the hotel rooms are still the same. They go back to that $50 or whatever they think that they can get. But that doesn't have any impact on the rest of the region. That's just where that hotel is or what those restaurants are doing. Your dollar is still your dollar and the Fed is still screwing that over, sure, but that isn't Taylor Swift's doing. I had somebody tell me that Taylor Swift was a negative impact on the economy. I, I kid you not. This person that I see on a relatively regular basis was telling me that Taylor Swift causes inflation. I said, you've got to be kidding me. There's no, that is not how inflation works. He said, oh no, definitely. Yeah. She went to a small town and I think he said Iceland and whether or not that actually happened, I don't know. He might've been just using it as an example, but he said she went to the, she went to some place and the prices went up everywhere. I said, that's not inflation. That's supply and demand. That's just basic economics. If I have a garage sale and I'm selling a t-shirt for a quarter and somebody else comes up to me and says, I'll offer you a dollar for it. That's not inflation. That's somebody else offering me more money. The Overton window is shifting and I cannot wait until somebody like Taylor Swift gets on stage and says, hey, you might want to avoid this whole inflation thing, which I'm not causing, by the way and get some Bitcoin. It'd be nice to see somebody like Taylor Swift or anybody else that is a major influence on the world talk about the benefits of, at the very least, understanding what money is, because that is kind of the core of what makes Bitcoin so special, is that you've got this option between freedom, Bitcoin, or slavery. In closing, take all the news about Taylor Swift or Beyonce or whatever other nonsense is thrown out there as a cause of inflation, as a positive sign. See it as a signal that we have so much more room to grow in the Bitcoin space. There are so many more people that have yet to be orange-pilled and see the light of true sound money and why inflation is caused and why Bitcoin is the solution to that. If you fix the money, you do indeed fix the world. Now over on the right, you've got me talking about chat GPT AI using the lightning network. Maybe bots will start buying things for us. What in the world will that look like? And over here on the left, you've got Rustin talking about Larry Fink saying what we've all known in the Bitcoin space forever, that Bitcoin is truly the ultimate currency.